Alrighty, hello again. Uh, I am Ben, and I'm going to show you once again some progress on the game A Little Wilderness that I've been making. And uh, you can see I got started very late because this caravan starts all the way over here and has made it all the way over here. Let's get started. So the first thing you can find that I've added when you play the game, which you can't, I'm sorry about that, and I'll talk about that more later, uh, is this little introductory story to kind of get things started. Uh, and, and this change, along with several others that I made in the past few days, uh, came about when I showed the game to my dad and stepmom and, and had them try it out. And I didn't tell them anything, I just sat there as quietly as I could manage. Sometimes I, I, I felt it necessary to interject. Um, but to just observe them and, and see where they struggled and where they had problems. And one thing that I realized they were confused about is what are you even trying to do in this game? And I thought that was fair enough, you know, after a moment of thought, uh, for people who are following, you know, progress on Bay 12 games, for example, which does Dwarf Fortress, of course, um, you know, and other people who play a lot of games like this, it's obvious, it's a building game, you're surviving, you know, this is kind of a genre by now, but if you're not familiar with that, you, you wouldn't even know, um, you know, as my parents are not, uh, they used, my dad at least used to play games, but that was a very long time ago when it was DOS. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, so I added this intro screen to kind of get things started. By now you, you could have read it all if you wanted, I'm sure. So I, I won't read it for you myself with my, my voice. <laughs> um, but anyway, I added that to kind of set the stage for what's going on in the game. So uh, let, let's get started. Uh, this is all pretty much the same as before. I'm hoping that this guy here or this girl will do, give us a little cough cough. Um, the found city thing, I made a button. That was just another, it looks like a button. That was just another UI change I made because my parents were like, what do I do? <laughs> um, so anyway, let's get started on the game and all the cool new changes. We can see one of them right here. It's a squirrel. Uh, very adorable running around. Um, they are not huntable yet, as you can see. I don't have a menu, but that's going to be the idea. They will eventually be, be huntable. Um, another thing I would like to do is have them eat uh, berries if, if you have them left on the ground and haven't put them away. Uh, and there are no humans no nearby. You might have seen a couple other things too in just the brief time that has elapsed. One guy went cough cough. Um, there's now a sort of health tracking thing going on, um, you know, where if they don't eat or if they haven't slept or even if their feelings, you know, really shitty, uh, their their health declines. Um, and if it gets really low, they start to get sick. And then if they're really sick, uh, they and, and their health is low, they will die. And right now the game, it's not balanced at all. The game is set up such that they are basically doomed. Um, you can't see their health or anything. It just has the same thing as always, uh, but but oh well. The other thing you may have noticed um, is this funny red line going across. So that's a measure of the temperature, and that's just, that is not going to be the final thing. That's just for me testing out right now. I have implemented a simple weather system just for keeping track of temperature um, that isn't working right now. The temperatures are too dramatic. They get too high and too low right now. Um, but it's working pretty well. And I'm again, I just need this data so I can test it. You won't see the ground temperature uh, or the clouds expressed as a percent. Th that kind of data won't be available in game. I will draw clouds up here according to how dense cloud cover is. Um, but it's a it's a actually kind of simple it's more complex than you might expect, but, but at the same time, it wasn't a whole lot of math. But the game keeps track of the energy coming in from the sun based on the time of day and the season uh, you, to see how much energy is getting to the Earth. Uh, then the amount of energy that gets into the Earth itself rather than just staying in the atmosphere. And then also uh, sunlight reflected as per cloud cover. Uh, energy that should be escaping into space but is not because of cloud cover, and then also energy getting into the atmosphere from the ground. And I, I hope I covered any, everything. But anyway, so there's a few variables going on here, and the end result is we have an air temperature that makes our people happy or sad. Um, and having said that, it does not affect their mood yet, but, but it of course will. Oh, once I have it working out. Oh good, she went sniff sniff. Um, so, those are some of the things in the game. Uh, that maybe are less exciting, you know, this isn't fully implemented, the sickness isn't fully implemented in the way that, you know, they'll die. These things need tweaks, but there are some actually good improvements, so let me actually start playing the game. We have some mushrooms, just to add more food. I was noticing that there wasn't much food to, to get up front. Uh, I may reduce the frequency of mushrooms and berries once you can hunt, because, you know, depending on how many animals there are, I mean, all these things are going to need to be tweaked, but anyway, we have mushrooms. 
uh, now, which are pretty cool, and they're placed at World Gen. Um, I would like them to kind of grow up in seeming ran seemingly random fashions after rainfall. So whenever it rains, you know, when the ground is moist, they'll pop up, um, given it's warm enough and everything else. Um, so let me show you just a couple things. I'm hoping I can find some berries. You'll notice they're still walking on the water. <laughs> um, but let's start doing a building once we've got some of this wood. And I can show you some things. So here's the build menu. Um, I don't remember if this was in the last demo. I kind of don't think it was. Um, so you can select the building you want to build here. And this is not necessarily super intuitive. My um, uh, both my stepmom and dad had kind of some trouble identifying this as a menu, so that's something I, I want to work on. I might add arrows at least so you try and click on them and see that they're scrolling choices. Uh, but anyway, you can select the building uh, and, and tell them to build, and you can see the preview down here. And what did not exist before is a progress bar for construction. So as they build it, and hopefully someone will stop being so busy carrying wood. You? No? One of you guys? Um, as they build the little thing fills up according to, to what's required. So uh, a thing that I noticed uh, consistently is that um, my dad was like, what's going on? You know, what are they doing? Are they are they doing what I told them, for example? Uh, so here's one line I added that tells you he's storing wood. So we know what he's doing with this piece of wood. Um, if they're not doing anything, I probably need to change it, say if they're milling about or whatever. I, um, we can see this guy is building a cabin, small. We obviously have some text <laughs> running out issues. Uh, so they say what they're doing, you've got some progress here. Additionally, when he's done building this thing, we're going to see a little pop-up message that says that whoever this guy was, Felix, has finished building a cabin. So if you're off doing something else, as you probably often are, like perhaps putting in explore order, um, you, you'll know when the event is, is finished. Uh, and there are logs for... So th probably other things have been logged, you just can't see them right now. Uh, I'll, I'll show you that once we see this thing. Catherine finished exploring. Okay, so that was already one thing. She went off here and explored, and we saw that message, and now when he's done constructing, Felix has built a cabin. Wonderful. Um, we can also build. I want to show them mostly because they look so adorable. Uh, <laughs> you can build these trellises that grow berries, and I wish I could show off the growing to you right now, but it's... Uh, it takes a couple days, and, and I'm not going to sit here for an hour while they grow. <laughs> an hour of real life time. I don't think you want to either. But the berries will grow on, on this trellis uh, as as the days go on. And initially, you just have to wait for the plant to get big enough uh, to have any berries. And that's something I may want to change. Um, but once it's big enough, then every day you get a new supply of berries. So, I don't know, that's, it's, it's pretty fun. And again, I think it looks really cool. Here he's going to build this thing. Here's my trellis. And you can see there's a little bit of green here. Um, man, I need to add some debugging features just so I can show you off these things to you, to you guys where, where we can see the stages of growth, but you'll have to believe me, it looks wonderful. <laughs> so you can build trellises for growing food, that's kind of like the very first, whoops, you could almost call it, um, you could almost call it farming, right, but we don't quite have farming. Another thing that I've added that you can build, although they don't do anything, is, uh, oh, we don't have any stone in the game yet, <laughs> uh, are these graves. So... Oh, what's that person doing? Oh, eating a mushroom. Okay. And I think I added that nom nom. So it used to be when they ate, they just kind of grabbed the food and did it, and, and you couldn't tell. Um, now they do this little nom nom thing so you can tell what they're doing, uh, which is, again, you know, more feedback for the user. I, I think a, a lot of that was good. So you cannot currently perform a burial. But the idea is, since death is, is coming up in the game, um, once, once someone dies, it, it does work currently. Their body is removed from the game, and it creates a new object that is called their body. And it stores all the stats about the person that has died, uh, which means it's possible in the future they could be resurrected. I don't know what would happen with that. I've, I've debated in my mind how much mysticism and things we want to put in this game. Uh, but anyway, even without you know, worrying about whether or not resurrections will be possible, uh, it's, it, we need to have uh, somewhere in memory information about the person so that people can remember that they're sad that person is missing and things like that. So those things haven't been implemented yet, but they will. Uh, well, you know, when a friend dies, they're going to be sad. And things will be better if you bury them. I don't know exactly how I want to do those mechanics. Um, so in the future, you'll be able to perform a burial. I've also added a context menu option, if this grave was full, to exhume the grave, which would take the body back out. 
I don't know why you would do that. I don't know if I'll leave that in. Um, but it would definitely make people unhappy if you did. So <laughs> anyway, so those are some things that are kind of coming up. I also mentioned, I also promised earlier, uh, you know, when I mentioned that, that you cannot play this game yet, let's talk about that. So what I think that once death is in the game and we've got some building going on, as we already do, you know, you can you can start making food. You don't really have farming, but you can grow food, so that's cool. Uh, so I think that really once I have death in the game, or proper working death, um, <laughs> because that's not proper working death, uh, I think it will be a good time to release the game. Um, and I think part of that's going to get weather in. I'll, I'll have them die of cold and sleeping in houses. I think those are the, because the, the, the sickness thing is just not working at all, unless I can get that um, working properly. I think at that point I will release the first version of the game that people can download and people can play. And I have tried running this on a couple computers. It seems to be working well. I, I've already identified a funny library that um, I'm going to need to, to either link people to or include in, you know, as a download. It's this open AL thing. It's a library responsible for handling sound, apparently, even though there is no sound in this game yet. It's part of the library I'm using. Um, so, but but yeah, we'll we'll be able to do it. I mean, it, it runs on other computers. I, I can make my own quick kind of. Uh, I wouldn't call it an installer, uh, but just to bundle it up into one obvious executable and everything. The files are kind of all over the place, uh, but but I think it's going to be good. So, I don't I don't know exactly when I'll be able to do that. I I can't make any promises. Um, I don't, I don't even know what to say, you know, I, I could say a month, but that feels like maybe too long, and I don't want to say just one or two weeks, because maybe that's not enough time, but let's go for somewhere in that time frame, I, I hope to have a, a download um, up and out for people to try, and and then I really hope to start getting some really cool feedback from people. I, I honestly think the game is going to be a little boring at that time, um, which makes me hesitate. Uh, there are a lot of things that, you know, will make things more interesting in terms of growing your your settlement, uh, interaction with, with Native Americans, um, you know, other travelers coming through, people who maybe want to join you or don't, uh, you know, more interesting diseases, more interesting things to build, and, and more interpersonal relationships between your colonists, uh, including dealing with death as we've been <laughs> hovering here for a while, but also um, having friends and, and falling in love and getting pregnant and things like that that I think will really make the game more interesting. Um, so I'll apologize in advance if the game is not the most interesting thing to play initially, uh, but I think, you know, some people, w I think there's been a little bit of demand to, to be able to actually get uh, your hands on it and, and things like that. So anyway, I'm going to stop here. Thank you as always for watching, and I will hope to have another video out at least in a week and possibly with a download.